Kid on his own in the harbor. It's not safe. I'll get him on board. It's dangerous. Whose boat is that, anyway? My uncle's. Is that so? Well, you tie her up to that boy. Come on board and come up here. usually moored. Only point, sir. Oh, yes, I know. I've seen it. Well, look, I can't put you ashore yet. I've got to do a run, so you'll have to come along, too. This morning? Oh, I just wanted to see some ships at work. Do you know anything about ships? No. And you don't know anything about safety either. See that liner over there? Yes. She's leaving today, and we're going to tug her out to sea. Hasn't she got any engines? Of course she's got engines. But they're just too powerful to use in dock, that's all. She's on her way to Europe. See the engine room? Yeah. Well, look. See that thing over in the corner? Mm -hmm. eh? That's a voice pipe. Now, you take the top off, blow down, and ask the engineer if you can come down and see the engines. Go on. steps and then down the hatch.
was bigger than yours, eh? <laughs> now, those old engines will deliver up 850 horsepower. Did you know that? No. What's that boat over there? Ship, not boat. That's a freighter from Japan. She's probably carrying a consignment of cars, among other things. And she might take back a cargo of wool when she goes. Do they drive cars off? Oh, I doubt it. Heavy things like cars are loaded and unloaded by cranes and winches on board the ship. Some cargoes can't be loaded with winches. Wheat's one of them. Now, wheat's bulk loaded direct from the silos into the ship's hold. Did you know that wheat's one of our main exports? No. When they unload bulk coal, they use huge grabs to lift it out of the holds and hoist it up onto conveyors. Now, with the ships from the north bringing sugar, they use grabs, just like the ones for coal, to unload the raw sugar into the plants for refining. Where? <laughs> That's a tanker. Tankers bring crude oil from overseas oil wells in the Middle East and America, and we refine it here. They unload the oil by pipes into storage tanks, ready for making into petrol and its byproducts. <laughs> All those pipes, <laughs> they're a plumber's nightmare. Thank you. Let her go! Well, she's on her way. big ships like that in the water? Oh, no, no. They build them in shipyards on things called slips. for launching, they slide down the slipway into the water. Do they still have sailing ships? 
Well, yes, there's still a few about. The new Endeavour sailed all the way out from England not so long ago. you up, that is. Well, you think you've learned uh, a bit about ships today? Oh, yes. They're very important to Australia. You've only got to look at the places where they come from. They come here from all over the world. Coastal ones, now they're important too. They bring raw materials to the unloading centers where trucks cart them away. And you know the Empress of Australia, she runs between Sydney and Tasmania. Now, besides taking passengers, she's equipped to allow fully loaded trucks and heavy equipment to drive straight on and drive off at the other end of the trip. When you look around the wharves nowadays, uh, you can see improved methods of loading and unloading overseas ships too. And wool. Well, sometimes bales of wool are lifted onto the ship in slings. another very important export for Australia. Did you know that? What's that funny looking thing over there? What's what funny looking thing where? <laughs> That's a dredge. She digs up buckets of clay and mud from the bottom, so as the ships won't run aground. you see a few unusual things like dredges floating around. Things like the Maritime Services Board fire float. <laughs> the hydrofoil ferry gave me a surprise the first time I saw her. You see unexpected things too, like ships that unload their cargo of logs over the side into the sea. and little tugs that spend all day towing the log rafts to the sawmills. My boat! The, my uncle's boat, it's gone! It's been stolen! It must have stolen! <laughs> Don't worry! While you were down the engine room, I had one of our tugs pick her up and take her back to where she belongs. I'd feel much happier knowing you were going home by bus. <laughs> oh, and remember, next time you want to see some ships at work, you come and see me, eh? <laughs> That's the boy. Here, you take it. <laughs> Thank you. 